and hello again people just a real quick one we're on a 2011 Audi 2 litre TDI estate and it has a communication fault on the OBD socket um, there's no communication at all couldn't connect to any of the modules whatsoever um, the car's been through water so it's had some flood damage um, and yeah we're here to try and find the problem so initially couldn't get any readings on the Autel absolutely nothing um, did a CAN network check uh, you do a CAN network check by putting the probes for, between CAN high and CAN low and you're looking for about 60 ohms for a healthy network because there's two 120 ohm terminating resistors each end and we have 68 ohms so all good within spec um, so the CAN network should work but there's obviously an issue so I was thinking yeah it must be a module that's got wet somewhere um, the parking brake's not working, multiple warning lights on the dash, fog lights etc um, and luckily uh, I got quite lucky the first one I decided to disconnect was now this is what you normally do with all CAN network faults is you disconnect modules one at a time until you get the network back uh, because of bad module on a network will drop the network down and stop everything communicating thankfully the first one I disconnected was the ABS control module um, managed to get to the connector there disconnected it and went back to the car did a scan and thankfully all of the modules have since come up as we can see, we've just done a full scan and now I've got full connectivity to the vehicle. So I just wanted to do a quick video on this one um, with regards to CAN network uh, fault finding um, and communication faults. So yeah, the, the the first point of call is to disconnect each module one by one. Obviously the, uh, some vehicles have up to 50 modules, it can get a bit tedious and quite time consuming. But yeah, um, there was obviously no clear faults module looks okay no sign of water damage but obviously customer told me it had been he'd driven into water but quickly driven out car engine runs stuff like that but yeah just no communication so yeah that is how you diagnose a can network fault just again just a real quick video using the breakout box multimeter you don't need to use a breakout box you can just go across pins uh, 6 and 14 on the actual OBD socket itself and get get the same reading just to make sure you, your network's intact so yeah I'll leave it here for now I'm going to do some further work on this if I find any interesting, anything interesting I will carry on filming but um, yeah thanks for watching please like and subscribe